Starting on Wednesday, people in Toronto and Peel region can finally get a haircut or sit out on a patio. Those areas are next to get the green light to head into stage two of Ontario's reopening plan. This move brings them in line with the rest of the province. It also means there's just one public health unit in Ontario not approved for stage two. Mike Crawley has more on that. After more than three months shut, the shopping malls of Toronto, Mississauga and Brampton will be allowed to open their doors on Wednesday. Hair salons also get the green light, along with swimming pools and restaurant patios, putting Toronto and Peel on a par with the rest of the GTA and nearly everywhere else in Ontario. We're beating this virus. Everyone's efforts are paying off. We're seeing it in the numbers again today. How did Toronto get to this stage? After new cases peaked in April, May was a bit of a roller coaster, but since the beginning of June, the trend has been steadily downward. I do not believe it is a moment too soon from a public health standpoint, but it also can't come a moment too soon for people and for businesses in the city of Toronto. The mayor says Toronto's splash pads will open right away on Wednesday. Outdoor pools will follow on Friday and Saturday, and wading pools from the 1st of July. Day camps can start running anytime. Museums, galleries, and the zoo can all open. With all these new freedoms, health officials are urging people to stick with physical distancing and other prevention measures. The reality is that COVID-19 remains in our community, and we need to learn to live with it. The change means the only public health unit in the province left at stage one is Windsor-Essex, where agricultural workers make up the vast bulk of recent cases. Farmers just aren't, aren't cooperating, they aren't sending out the people to, to get tested. Like, I'm, you know, we got to bang our heads off the wall and figure out why. The question now in many parts of Ontario is when can they move ahead to stage three? That would allow pretty much everything to resume except mass gatherings like concerts or sports events. The health minister says the province needs more time to assess how stage two is affecting the spread of the virus. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.